beautiful, man. Just to be a state champ as a junior, then I got to come back and defend it next year. It's crazy. It's the best feeling ever. It's great. We got to come back and do it again next year. There's one reason why when I die, 206 will always die with me. One reason. Because since December the 3rd of last year, you've had a target on your chest. And that's why I put those targets on your chest for practice. You've had a target on your chest, and you've taken everybody's best shot, start with the scrimmages. Lake won two games in the playoffs, you kicked their ass. Hubbard won two games, you kicked their ass. You look since 1987, has anybody beaten Buckle three consecutive times, you kicked their ass. You beat Kenton South's best team ever. You beat Dover's dream team. You beat Aurora's best team ever. That gave you the right to play here tonight. That's all you got right now is the right to play here. You haven't done anything else but earn the right to play in this game today. And you got to pull it up one more time. One more time, you got to step it up. We definitely play with the target on our back, and we use it as motivation to get back to where we were. A lot of people were saying that we couldn't do without the team we had last year, the seniors we had last year. And our class and the juniors and sophomores just wanted to show that we could get back there without them. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked everybody coming for us. Day after day, game after game, I just kind of liked it. It was a challenge. Being state champs, you know, it's a little, little pressure trying to come back and win it again, but I never really thought about it. I just wanted to play football and just go out and have fun. I like being the champion. I like being on top of things. So when he told us we had a target on our chest, I was ready to go. People were thinking they were going to come back and and, um, and beat us, uh, considering the fact that we lost a lot of seniors last year. Um, and it's, it's tough playing with a like, chip on your shoulder. Everybody think you're going to lose. It's a target on his chest. I mean, it made us fight even harder to try to repeat again. Pretty much everyone doubted us the whole season. I mean, thinking we were going to lose against Can South and Dover and uh, Aurora. I mean, we just stepped up and did what we had to. I'm not the type of guy to say, that, you know, we're not going to remember last year. We're going to forget about it. It's something you don't forget about, but it's something you hope this year's team can build off of and uh, try to emulate. The harder you work your hands, Lyman, the harder your feet will work. Get your hands to work, your feet will work. Get your feet to work, your hands will work. Work your hands inside, work your feet. We had to replace five of our six linemen, so, um, but they had some experience, most of them, so um, they were a little bit behind, and that's what we... You know, as the season started, we knew we were going to have to give them time to catch up to the skill guys. And as the season went on, they progressed more and more, and we were able to do more things because of that. And they ended up doing a real nice job. I didn't have any doubt that we'd have guys step up every year. Uh, bigger if football has, has guys that are hungry to play, and they, they, they show that in the off season. They work their butts off in the weight room. And uh, we had some guys go above and beyond that and, and take it upon themselves to uh, work on their footwork and, 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 and you know, practice their punching and getting faster and getting stronger and doing that on their own. And they, they worked as a group also. And uh, I, I owe it to them. They, they stepped up. One day in the weight room, I was working real hard. And after that, Coach Show came out to me and said, how do you feel about playing guard? And I said, I'll do anything to get on the field, Coach. From then on, I've been playing guard all year. And hard work really paid off. Everybody said, how can you place, replace Ralph and Ange? We just took that as complete motivation, you know. All season we worked real hard, come up, do some drills by ourselves in the field house. After doing uh, offensive practice and helping the defensive line, we go and work on some more drills, just get our footwork down and technique and everything. Everybody thought that we wouldn't be very good because we lost players like Ralph and Magno and all them. We were a little undersized, but we worked every day hard with everybody. We all worked together in a group. We're lucky enough to have almost all of our linemen going one way, so we're able to work on all that all during every practice. We're mostly together as a unit during the whole practice. Two of my guys that I had uh, two years ago, uh, Philip Gilmore and Andrew Rodakovic, they got to play a lot last year, um, but they were starters this year, and uh, they, did, they did one heck of a job all the way across the board. We were, for sure, a question mark before the season started. But I think we did our job pretty good. Our tackles were pretty big on the outside, especially for Doc. He's pretty big, and our guards and were pretty quick, and Sean, our center, led us, led us pretty good. We had the personnel that could uh, fill the positions of the offensive line, but we, they just had to step up and work hard. 
to get the job done. Coach Cam and Coach Joe really helped me to, you know, bring out my, the best in me and like the weight room and on the field, all the sprints that we did. And they told me a confident man is a dangerous man. We had some guys step up. Tyree Dunn worked very hard in the weight room, was a great leader, uh, got his assignments down. And uh, he, was, he, was our, he was a force at left guard in the beginning of the year. Uh, we moved him over. Philip Gilmore stepped up in there. Uh, him and Andrew worked real, to, real well together on the left side. Sean always took, clear, took care of the ball. Uh, Sam Pavlik stepped up big time, put on about 30 pounds, and, and played right guard for us. Brandon Fry was our, our caller, made all the calls on the right side. And uh, we just ended up having a great group of guys that worked well together. We got a lot of skilled guys back, but you know I feel that you know basically every year we got kids that that have um, that have skills, whether it be at a skill position or a line position. But uh, this year, you know, we just happen to have our skill positions back from last year. But we feel that we have some younger kids that might even be better, and if they don't work, they're going to get beat out. Playing a 15-game season last year, playing the five playoff games, I think helped us in going into this year. It gives you extra practice time. I really think last year during the playoffs we really started to flourish offensively and we really started to become really good last year uh, during the playoffs and I think going into this year you could see a little bit of carryover. Our receivers, our skill guys, our receivers, our running backs, our quarterback of course were way ahead of what they normally are going into the season because of that. It's great when everyone's catching the ball. We had Mo, Stevie, Dan, Gossett. It's definitely hard to stop you know five or six guys and we definitely use that to our advantage, and you know, I wouldn't be—I wouldn't want to be the defense having to prepare for five or six guys. We had speed with me and Mo. We had size with Vogel, and we had Goss was just all around. He was—he could catch anything. I kind of liked it. It was kind of took pressure off me that I was not the only one to have to make plays. Mo could make plays. Vogel and Goss at all could make plays. You can't prepare for just one. You got to prepare for like more than five because I mean we have more. We have so many weapons, and the majority of us are like so fast and like. Everybody has a game where it's just that person's game, but you have to have your other receivers help you out to have that type of game. I would uh, probably key on Mo and Stevie at wide out, and then some plays I'd be running down the seam wide open. I've really played tight end most of the year, but so when we get into our two-minute offense, I, they put me out of, uh, wide out, and I made a few plays out there. If they would uh, say double cover me, then I'd leave Mo open. If they would get Stevie, me or Mo would be open. Mo could hurt him with his speed, Stevie with his speed, I hurt him with my size, Gossett with his size. It was just, we had four of the best receivers, bigger as ever had. We gotta get tough. Simple as that, we gotta get tough. If we get tough, then we'll be a good football team. If, uh, if, if we play like we've, we've been working so far, then uh, we got a chance of being a good football team, but we got a chance of being an average football team also. You know, we went into, um, like we do every year, going into the season, into the off season, and talking about people that we've lost and how we were going to replace them and people we may have to move around. So and it was no different. We, were, we had uh, seven new starters on defense, and at the time we were going into camp, we were hoping that we'd have a a solid backup for Tamale at tailbacks. We're still counting for Tamale to play a lot of defense for us. And uh, we had Bronco come in as a sophomore, and we weren't real sure, you know, how he was going to be able to play. Seeing and hearing things, you know, we were expecting big things out of him. Nick Fagad just was um, a big part of this year. Beginning of the season last year, he had an injury that um, ended his, you know, that ended his junior year. So we weren't sure if he was going to play. You know, everything was up, and uh, we weren't sure who was going to play at linebacker. From like the weight room, killing us. Just like working us hard. Practice is two days, killing us, working us hard. Just made us tougher. Just thinking nobody could beat us after running. So like we had nothing to give or nothing to lose. Just go out there and win. Well, during the summer, it took a lot of hard work. All that hard work paid off. Uh, big red footballs. It's totally different. It's about attitude, the defense. It's real tough. Now, last year's linebackers were very tough. Uh, that only made me go harder and try to be just like they were, or even better. Our linebackers, we were, we hustled every, every play. We uh, made sure, and uh, we tried to get where we needed to be, when we needed to be there, and if not, we tried to push the lineman into the hole so there wasn't a hole, and uh, just try to make the tackle every play. If you can't make the tackle, make him cut back into the other linebacker.
Nick Bagad just came in, did an, a fantastic job. Mark Markakis did an outstanding job. And then Bronco filled the, uh, the center spot that was voided by uh, Demetrius Benjamin, and he did an outstanding job there. So the, the three, those three guys, and uh, with un, excluding Tamale, were just, they just worked hard every day, were coachable, um, understood what we were doing, and, uh, and able to accept and, and that challenge and, and being you know, part of that great unit of linebackers that we've had in the past. WTOV9 Sports is proud to present the WTOV9 High School Football Game of the Week, where tonight at Harding Stadium, the season opener between Steubenville Big Red and Akron Bookdale. Sidecar now to the top. Zach going to keep it. Across the 40 to the 45, across midfield, cuts back at 40. Knocked out of bounds to the 39-yard line. Wins each way. Bogard and McGee to the top. Davis and Vogel to the Gossett. bottom. Down the middle. Gossett wide open. Down to the three-yard line. Anthony Gossett slipped into the opening, and he was wide open. And it is Zach. Touchdown, Big Red. This is Pitts. He's got running room. 40 pits to the 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Is he into the end zone? Touchdown, Bookle. And that play was a tremendous run. I remember that. And uh, we missed a lot of tackles, but he made us miss a lot of tackles. You know, that it, it's, it's what happens after a run like that that you're worried about. And, and what happened, we stopped them the next drive after that. And, you know, it's just a matter about forgetting about the bad things and get on to the next play. You know, we weren't very good in the first half. We played hard, but we didn't play very well. I know what we're made of. I just hope we show it. Do you think Big Red will take over with their conditioning in the second half? Well, hopefully. If we don't, it's my fault. Alexander deep in that backfield. They're going to fake to him. Pressure from music, and then a second man gets him, and that's Ricky Brancasio, who I mentioned had just checked in the ball game. Campbell got heat from Murphy, and he throws it in the fifth row of the stands. Intentional grounding. Hard first and five. McGee up the middle, big hole. Tamale to the 40. McGee 30. Side steps. Adams spins 10 down to the eight-yard line. Tamale McGee. What a run there for Big Red. That's Tamari. Touchdown, Big Red. Here is Zach. Unload. Stevie Davis, he's there. Two point conversion. He got it. How about that? They went ahead. They had scored on it. Center eligible. And they tried it again, and they got it. Stevie Davis. Fake the handoff, looking to put it up. Intercept it! Stevie Davis in midfield with the pick. Davis to the 40, 30. Davis! Oh, taking it to the house! Wow. Touchdown, Big Red! Big time run right there. And the Big Red defense, some young guys there. There's Bronco Busick. I saw Tyree done there and uh, getting the opportunity and they're getting it done. I feel real good about the win. I feel great about our conditioning. I don't think our X's and O's were very good tonight. And I don't think my communication with the sideline was very good. But I love the way our kids, our kids dug down deep. And we were very well conditioned in the second half. Six, two, two, three, eight, Deucey, eight. Sky, gun. Game still scoreless. Second quarter. Tamai McGee with the handoff. Touchdown, Big Red. Handoff, Marky Markakis with the stick. Johnson wrapped up and hit hard. A loss of a couple. Gonzaga looks to put it up. The pass, a wobbler, it's picked off. Zach Kolaris is there for Big Red. Yes, Zach. Kolaris, play action. Marky Markakis out of the backfield. Touchdown, Big Red. <laughs> Anthony Gossett with the interception. Gossett taking it all the way for the touchdown. Big Red wins it, 27-7. Kolaris rolling right, looking. 
He's got Danny Vogel. Disco Danny Vogel. Touchdown, Big Red. Big Red to the ground. Tamari McGee looked inside. Now he bounces outside. McGee down the sideline. Touchdown, Big Red. Edison looking to pass. James Montgomery is there. Montgomery with the Big Red sack. Polaris play action. He steps away from the pressure. Vogel's open again. Disco Danny Vogel in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Big Red. Big Red doing some substituting now. Stevie Davis at quarterback. Davis around the corner. Breaks it down the sideline. Stevie Davis. All the way for the touchdown. 79 yards. Big Red leads it 26 0. The final score from Harding Stadium Big Red 45, Edison 19. It was the biggest test of the young season for Steubenville Big Red. Playing their first road game of the year, they found themselves playing from behind for the first time, down 6 0 with two minutes to play in the half. They answered the bell with a nine-play, 87-yard scoring drive capped by a touchdown pass from Zach Kolaris to Dan Bogle, taking an 8-6 halftime lead. A fumble on the second-half kickoff led to Ursuline retaking the lead at 14-8. But once again, Big Red would answer the bell. Stevie Davis returned the kickoff to the Ursuline 27-yard line, setting up a one-yard touchdown run by Kolaris, putting Big Red up, 15-14. The team showed me a lot. You know, so, uh, you always think you have a nice team, you have a good team, you have a hard-working team, but there comes a time in the season where sometimes you just got to jump up and show you and prove it, and I think they did it twice on Saturday night. Big Red then scored on its next three possessions on a pair of touchdown runs by Kolaris, who ran for 120 yards and threw for 203, and one by Tamawi McGee, who ran for 110 yards. While well, the Big Red offense racked up 473 yards, the attacking blitzing defense was just as impressive, holding Ursland to 130 total yards, including passing numbers of three completions in 12 attempts for 19 yards and three interceptions. I felt that uh, overall for 48 minutes we played a very physical game. It wasn't pretty and we didn't do everything right, but every time we played hard on every snap. We're still a little big red M&M Hardware High School Football Team of the Week. On the road for the first time this season against unbeaten Ursuline, Big Red needed a big performance from quarterback Zach Kolaris, and they got it. The senior completed 17 of his 21 passes for 203 yards in the touchdown. Kolaris also ran the ball 16 times for 120 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, we played, played a good team ball game. The linemen blocked well, and the receivers caught the ball, and we. I think we ended up with 480 yards on offense. Really, I don't know about the running or passing or anything like that, but I know that Zach goes out each and every week, each and every play, competing. And uh, sometimes, you know, you do things perfect and sometimes you don't. One of those times was in the second quarter when a Kolaris fumble turned into a touchdown and a 6-0 lead for Ursuline. But the senior quarterback bounced back on the ensuing possession, leading Big Red on a nine-play, 87-yard touchdown drive. That yeah, was the first time we uh, had to play from behind, and I fumbled that first one. The team really picked me up, and everyone picked me up, and uh, we marched down the field, got that score, just showed the character of this team, and uh, how we're coming along in 2006. Steubenville Big Red quarterback Zach Kolaris at the Wintersville Trophy Shop, High School Football Player of the Week. We were 3-0 and at the time, and they were 3-0, and I think, something like that, and uh, a lot of people were picking us to lose that game, you know, so we kind of went, went in there with a chip on our shoulder. We got down. We had two fumbles for touchdowns. Four, it was 14-6, to six, and after them fumbles, we just bounced back, and the second half, we just rolled. 
4-0 Big Red back home at Harding Stadium tonight hosting Buffalo St. Joe's. Big Red trailing 7-0. Handoff to Moy McGee. McGee bounces to the outside. Tamai tiptoes down the sideline. Zach fake to McGee. He keeps it around the corner. Nobody's going to catch him. Kolaris, 40 yards to the Big Red touchdown. Zach in the gun. Straight drop. He's going to run it. Kolaris to the quarterback draw. Into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Big Red. Big Red up 14-7. St. Joe's in the gun. They're looking to throw. Mikey D. Carlantonio brings it down. The interception for Big Red. Pops to the intended receiver. Great interception. Michael D. Carlantonio. Tomoy McGee up the middle. Touchdown. St. Joe's to the air again. Pass is tipped. Nick Bogadis with the interception in the end zone. Big Red wins it, 29-13 the final. Big Red on the road tonight in Akron against St. Vincent St. Mary. Opening drive, Big Red on the 17. Tamari McGee takes the handoff. McGee, touchdown Big Red. Zach, play action. He's got Mo Bogard down the sideline. Mo to the 21-yard line. Huddle, huddle for Big Red. Stevie Davis at center. And Kalars throws to Davis. Center eligible. How about that? Touchdown, Big Red. Handoff. Chad Murphy forces the fumble. Draylon Fries got it. Handoff. Tamari McGee to the outside. Touchdown, Big Red. Zach rolls near side. Looks back across the field. He's got Stevie Davis. Davis puts on a move. Touchdown, Big Red. Kolaris, straight drop. Fires. Far side. Davis, touchdown. Your final from Akron. Big Red, 41. St. Vincent, St. Mary, 14. That's Tamari. Touchdown, Big Red. Zach, little fade, Fogel, touchdown Big Red. Zach going to keep it, he's got some running room. Kolaris going to take it for the touchdown. Park looking to put it up, Matt Sowell's pass, picked off Zach Kolaris, and he takes it back for a Big Red touchdown. The final from Harding Stadium, Big Red 61, Wheeling Park 7. Big Red and Beaver Local, on your scoreboard, we are scoreless. Toss McGee trying to get to the outside, he does, McGee, 30, cut back, 25, McGee, 20, 15. Knock out of bounds at the seven yard line. Put Trips topside, Zach gonna roll that way, Mo Bogard wide open, touchdown Big Red. Boy, was that a pretty play. Bogard went in motion. Nobody went with him, and he was wide open. Zach, little fade. Vogel. Touchdown, Big Red. One receiver topside. They're going to try the reverse. Here goes Bogard topside. He's got a block by Kolaris. Turns around the corner, and Bogard across midfield. Bogard still going. And Bogard back across the field to 30. Bogard 25, brought down to behind at the 20 yard line. I know Beaver Local thinks he might have stepped out of bounds here midfield, but that's not the case. Great effort by Mo Bogard. Zach in the gun, two receivers to the bottom. Zach gonna roll that way and gets away from Kyle Reeder. Unloads it wide open, touchdown Big Red. Stevie Davis in the back of the end zone for the Big Red touchdown from 13 yards out. And how Zach got away from Reeder is beyond me. Now there's a happy foul. That's Nick the Bully Busick. 
And you know, his eyes really have to be working tonight because Bronco's been everywhere on defense. You know, when you're when your dad, I know you're watching the game, but you're watching your kid too, and he's been doing a lot. Ethan Russell looking to put it up. Russell, he's got pressure, and he's going to be brought down. Good pressure by the Big Red defense. Ricky Brancasio among those leading that charge. Bronco Busick in as well as Marky Markakis. And they're looking long. Danny Vogel wide open. Vogel. Touchdown, Big Red. And here is the kickoff. And Big Red takes it back to their own 12. That's Davis. And look at this, Stevie Davis. One man to beat Davis across midfield. Davis 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Big Red. Stevie Davis with the second half kickoff. In your final, Steubenville Big Red 36, Beaver Local nothing, so you can make it 8 no for Big Red. Next up, they've got Canton Central at home. Play action. Zach looking down, Phil Mo Bogards behind the secondary. Mo, touchdown, Big Red. Here's McGee. Look at Tamai McGee. McGee to the 20. McGee, touchdown, Big Red. Zach, play action. Marky Markakis out of the backfield. Markakis, touchdown, Big Red. Handoff. Bronco Busick strips the football. Kolaris picks it out of midair. Zach. Touchdown. Big Red over Canton Central, 33-0 the final. Hey, Big, Red. Big Red closing out the season at home tonight against Baltimore St. Joe's. Reno and company looking to wrap up a perfect 10-0. Zach looking downfield. He's got his man, Anthony Gossett. What a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Big Red. Kolaris, handoff to Maya McGee, bounces to the outside, touchdown Big Red. <laughs> Zach to the air, Nick Vagajas down to the one yard line. Handoff, McGee, touchdown. <laughs> Zach, pump fake, he's pressured, running out of trouble, looking and he's going to keep it. Zach cuts back into the end zone, touchdown. Big Red over Baltimore St. Joe, 34-20 the final. Big Red wrapped up its fourth straight 10-0 season with a 34-20 win over Baltimore St. Joe's on Friday night. And leading the way was senior running back Tamawi McGee, who carried the ball 20 times for 168 yards. Well, I was just playing the game of football. And, I mean, that was exciting to me. Um, I, really wasn't worried, I really wasn't worried about, you know, the lead changes or anything. I mean, I knew my team would, you know, play hard and, come through with the win. Tomorrow McGee has been a great kid for us for four years and I'm just glad that he had the opportunity of, of getting an award like this. Uh, I think he's very deserving and his teammates are really excited for him and we're excited for him as a coaching staff. The most impressive thing about McGee's performance on Friday night may have been how he bounced back from his first fumble of the season. That fumble led to a touchdown that gave St. Joe's a first quarter lead, but McGee responded, scoring a pair of second quarter touchdowns, giving Big Red a 27-13 halftime lead on their way to a 34-20 win. We started out kind of bad and I had a little fumble. It was his first fumble all year and hopefully it was his last, but I'm sure that uh, if anything negative ever happens at tomorrow, he, he's mentally tough enough to overcome it. Well, at first I was kind of mad. I mean. But um, I shook it off and I just, just played. Steubenville Big Red running back to Maui McGee, the Wintersville Trophy Shop WTOV9 High School Football Player of the Week. I've said this before. I don't think that winning the Associated Press Championship makes says that you're the best team in the state of Ohio, but it says that the people around the state of Ohio uh, 
think that your program is a good program, a solid program, and at least you're deserving of some type of recognition. So as a pro, as a football program, we take great pride in the four straight Associated Press Championship. The Ohio Division Three Regional 11 quarterfinal matchup between the number one seed at Steubenville Big Red and the number eight seed, John Glenn, the Little Muskies. First and 10, just inside John Glenn territory at the 41. Kalaris fakes to the tailback, fires, Bobo guard with the catch first down down to the 30 yard line of John Glenn. Jackson cuts, touchdown Big Red. Anthony Third and 12, two for four so far, and Big Red flies in there on third down. And boy, you want to talk about timing things. Bronco Busick was in there the moment the ball was snapped. Unbelievable. Peace. Zach going to keep it. He's got some running room. Kolaris going to take it for the touchdown. 39-yard touchdown run for Zach Kolaris on fourth and 11. Third and five. And they swing it out to Bradley. And right there for the tackle is Big Red's Nick Bogodges. And Busick timed that thing again. <laughs> wow. Center Sean Campbell snaps it back to Zach in the gun. He throws underneath. Bogart turns it back in, coming back across the field. Picks up the block from D. Carl Antonio. Bogart, 15, knocked out of bounds at the 11. But Mikey, Mikey, do you like me now? How about that block? Wow. By D. Carlantonio. Uh, he just gauged it perfectly, and Bogart came all the way across the field. Uh, I couldn't tell you about it. I don't remember it much. Uh, I only remember a little bit from that game, but uh, when I look back and watch it, it's a pretty nice hit. That block in the John Glenn game was definitely one, one hell, hellacious block. Uh, Danny Vogel had one against Park. Mo had a couple, you know, here and there. The, we, we pride ourselves on that here. So Bogart motion top side. Zach Bogard's open. Touchdown, Big Red. No question about that one. So stack I once again. Montgomery, touchdown, Big Red. James Montgomery slashes in. One yard out. Montgomery for the Big Red. And he goes in motion, looking to put it up. Backside pressure, ball on the ground. Roland Owens just fall on it, and... The ball's still rolling around. They are now 11-0 in the season. The final score tonight from Harding Stadium, Steubenville Big Red 26, John Glenn 10. Assess for me last night's game. You opened with a 26-10 win over John Glenn, but last night I think you guys were a pretty banged up football team. Uh, we were banged up, but you know, I, I feel that, you know, it shows you what your other kids are doing during practice. and. Uh, you know, uh, when Tamari McGee was out, I figured that the two tailbacks we put in there uh, collectively could do just as good as a job. Uh, they did it. They did a decent job. They averaged about four yards a carry. Uh, but you know, when we had Tamari out, we had Gossett out. Uh, we also had um, Danny Vogel out, and uh, plus Tyree Dunn went out probably around the second or third play of the game. So just the adjustments that you have to make during the game that you didn't plan on uh, making during the week. What can you tell me about Canton South? Well, um, a lot of people make a big fuss over, over two of their players, uh, two brothers, one that's been uh, offered to uh, Ohio State University. Which I, I think that watching the film, they have a, they have a great all-around team. Their quarterback's a good player. Uh, they're very fast, very physical, and very well coached. Well, no thinking. You attack and you react. End of story. You attack and you react. Her head coach told me to treat them, but they've never been so ready. For some of you guys that got scared, to stay on the porch. They've never been this mentally ready before a game. Because he said because they, because they know we're good. So it's easy, they ain't got to say nothing to their team. We must make it fire. Well, everything you work for, do you understand that? Think about that. Think about every day in the, in the weight room. Think about every day climbing a mountain. And when it gets to this point in time, Which, when at this point in time, it can be an all out smack, smack, smack all night long, but somebody will quit. Somebody guaranteed will quit. It might not be to the last play of the game. Right. 
but I'm guaranteeing somebody will flip. win the game before the game, they play the game. I bet WV, you wish they had last Thursday over again. I bet Louisville wish they had last Thursday over again. Best thing I got out of that Louisville game against Rutgers, 25 to 7. Keep playing. The Rutgers defense swarmed them all night, man. They swarmed them all night. Their paper didn't have them giving up 21 points. We gotta see who has the gun. I know about eight or nine guys that have them for us. I think some of you guys didn't play last year getting them on. Trey Long, we need you to come alive. We need you to come alive on defense. Frank Casio, Tyree, Owens. We need you to penetrate and keep people off our linebackers. Offensive line, stick with it, play with your eyes. Eyes up, eyes up. Don't come off too fast, but come off on those linebackers. <coughs> Our Father, Lord in heaven, I'll be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but the first one in the kingdom of power, and glory forever, amen. Hey, hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. The Ohio Division Three Region 11 semifinal between Steubenville Big Red and Canton South. The 24 yard line, and that is Devin Torrance, and he gets ripped down. Good job by the special teams of Big Red. Anthony Jackson on the special teams tackle. So Big Red sets the tone right there with the special teams. This is a team that's used to scoring on long plays. Down, out, and up with the fake. Looking for Torrance. It's picked off by Big Red at the 21-yard line. Stevie Davis. Zach's going to keep it. First down, Big Red. And Zach more. to the 20, 15. Down to the five-yard line. Tamari. Deep in that backfield toss behind Marky Markakis. McGee, touchdown, Big Red. Well, there it was, Don. He squared his shoulders, and he got it in the end zone. That's what good running backs do. When they get down there close, they smell the end zone, and he got it in. Excellent job that time, and he had some nice blocking up front. Spreading things out and really running him up the middle yep. out, out of that uh, spread success. set. They're far. Second down play, again. there he is again. Upended by Bronco Busick. Music that time knifed in, got depth in the backfield, and made a nice tackle. Bronco Busick for a sophomore, you can't say enough about this kid, the way he's played this year, and he is an attacking, aggressive defender. Two to the bottom. Fake to McGee. Zach unloads. Draylon Pree with a catch across midfield to the 48 yard line. How about Draylon for that upper tight end spot? Making the grab, and uh, I'll tell you what, I don't believe Dre Lund catching any passes since well, the scrimmage. Don, you talked early on about Coach Reno challenge him, and you'll see here he comes up with a big play off the play action fake to the left. Here's McGee. Look at Tamari McGee. McGee to the 20. McGee down to the 13 yard. Rolling near side. Zach fires. Bogart and open. Mo Bogart, great catch down to the one-yard line. Excellent catch, excellent catch. 
Galaris up under center, Sean Campbell, who was shaken up earlier. Zach keeps it over him. He's got to be in there. Touchdown, Big Red. In the middle, intercepted by Big Red. Stevie Davis with the pick. And Big Red, the defense, once again, comes up big. This is Tamai. Top corner. McGee down the sideline. Cut back. 30, 25, 20, 15 yard line. Jackson, the key by the oh, Zach's got it. Nice fake touchdown, Big Red. Bogart goes in motion top side. They like to swing it out to him. Bogart in the middle. That's who they're looking for. Vogel's open though. Touchdown, Big Red. The final on the Doan Fork scoreboard, Big Red 28, Canton South 6, that is your final. It's a different style, you know, Dover style is Dover style. Um, uh, it, 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 is it the best? I, you know, I don't know if it's the best, but I know that they can score on any play. So, you know, if, if that makes you the best, then it is because they have the potential to score on any play. They have a Division One wide out in Daniel Wift and... Uh, uh, I respect his effort. You know, he goes plays on both sides of the ball, um, and he does a very good job. And uh, the quarterback is is a very good quarterback. It, they have good receivers. When you have eight teams left, I think they're all good matchups. And uh, you know, I think that uh, DeSales is saying the same thing about who they're playing, and uh, and um, uh, Blake Catholic is saying the same thing. And uh, we feel that the, ours. Our matchup is a good matchup, and uh, but but right now you're either good, lucky, or both. So uh, you know Dover's either good, lucky, both, and the same with us. Um, and they they've had to overcome some injuries also watching the film. And uh, but you know it's going to be a great matchup, and I know that you know the uh, uh, both both cities have a lot of respect, although they uh, uh, get on each other once in a while. I think there's a lot of respect between the two cities. Billy, Billy, Billy! Billy! 60 10! 60 10! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Did you coach yell Billy? Did you yell Billy? Okay. Mo! No! Mo! You're wrong! Huh, come on, the corner Stop. was there! Hold Stop. up! Stop. One! One! You know, Mo, as you're running that, shoot you, shoot you a little bit. And don't, hey, you don't have to post that at all. Oh, oh. Don't post it all. Move in a little bit. And look at the corner of that, right? Marky! Hey, you got the mic backer. You got the stack back when he goes spin, there's only one linebacker, all right? No, Nick, why'd you go crack on that? There was only a guy in the middle. There was no back on your side. Block him. If seven's ever in the backfield, give me quads. The way, give me over here. Stevie, if this sucker runs up through, it's yours. Okay? Don't get all hairy up about it. Pick a side. Pick a side. Okay? Score on both sides. Stevie, you, you adjust. Okay? And then once he motions out and becomes the, the receiver to one side or the other, then we're in bed. You understand? Blue 18. Hut, hut, hut. Good. Woo. Claps on him. Hey, three seconds eternal clock. Get your hands up. One, two, three. Pass rush. Pass rush. Let's get to him. We've been waiting for years for this. Go! Tall people, tall people! Tall people! Oh my god! Oh my god! Blue 18, set! He's gonna try to get you to jump, okay? Okay, so if we go cutthroat, everybody starts saying like cutthroat, and we're, huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll exactly. start getting you as a we'll yard, off. yard off. But the cutthroat's mainly for the linebackers that are blitzing. So they can okay. see what's going what on. What do they do that, uh, that QB curve? Like they just did. Killing. I, just I want, what's your job? 
Kill him. No, he was rushing. If the quarterback goes, you got it. If you're dropping. Well, I feel I feel we have to cover him, but uh, if we go into the game thinking we're just going to shut him down completely, then we're going to be in for a rude awakening. Our, our goal right now is just slow him down. We want to slow him down. Tackle them, don't give them any big plays after short catches. If, if you look at their film, uh, one out of three is a first down. So if they complete 33% of their passes, they're getting first downs. Uh, basically, their long passes come like maybe off of a, a, a little scramble or a little move or a little move up in the pocket or a little breakdown in coverages. So we, you know, we don't want to get very complicated. We just want to play our defense and do our assignments and tackle the receiver. And, you know, I can't say it any other way than that. Good, how you doing? Good. Good luck today. Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fawcett Stadium, one of the great venues for high school football for one of the great matchups we've had all season long. Ohio Division III Region 11 final, the Dover Tornadoes taking on Steubenville Big Red. This time he'll throw with pressure coming from the outside, out of the rush, on the run, looking deep. It's underthrown and it's intercepted. Mike DiCarlantonio down at the 34, so Big Red's defense Stops Garner on first down for a loss, then picks him off on second down. Kalara, short drop, had some footing problems. Looking, surveying, Vogel inside the five, he's got a touchdown. So Big Red answers right back with a long drive of their own. First and goal. McGee pushes forward for a touchdown. Big Red on top for the first time today. Watch Pree, I think they're starting to figure out something on that rush on the outside. There he comes again, Pree closing on, Garner, he got him and it's intercepted! Picked off, so Pree gets to him that time and it's intercepted by Roland Owens. Buster played real well for us. Buster had a knee injury last year and they said it was going to take a year and it basically did just take about a year. And, but he fought the whole way, he could have quit a thousand times but he kept sticking it out and it was worth it. Vogel goes in motion. And Kolaris fakes quickly to McGee, takes off himself, and Zach has a touchdown. Big Red has opened up a 10-point lead. But the big hitter has him all the way from a potential fourth and long. Now a first and 10 at the Big Red 14-yard line, knocking on the door here before halftime. Garner, middle, intercepted! Picked off by Kolaris at the goal line, he's got blocking ahead! Kolaris! Across midfield! Two blockers, one man to beat! He'll take it 100 yards for a touchdown! Unloads it down the middle of the field. If just stretches out, trying to make the catch. Zach somehow makes a one-handed grab. I don't know if we can see the block. Here comes Kolaris, and he just got drilled. That was, I believe, Nick Bogages. We always talked about how good the linebacking trio was last year, and, and this year's crew pretty doggone good as well. Bogages, Busek, and Markakis. Straight ahead, Garner pushing forward, surging for a touchdown. So Dover, down 27 to 10 at the half. The Tornadoes have scored 13 unanswered. 
And they're a point away from making it a three-point ball game. And Alaris to throw this time. Pressure coming. Steps up. On the run. Dumps off Bogart. Down the sideline. 10-5. He lost the football. It's loose in the end zone and recovered by Dover for a touchback. Stopped over. Needed. They get. And it's back to offense and Garner from the 20. He'll run it. He lost the football. Back to Big Red. Davis recovers. about that? Draywan Bree with the play of the day. Inside of 245 now. Big Red looking for the potential knockout punch. Galaris a fake. And who better to apply it than number seven in red. Touchdown Big Red. Steubenville Big Red will be one win away from returning to a state championship. Big Red beats Dover by the final of 33 to 30. Great effort, great effort. You know, that's all I can say is, um, you know, uh, our goal was to win this regional championship. Now we got to reset our goals tomorrow morning. Uh, you know, nobody gave these kids a chance when the season started because everybody said we lost this and we lost that. But tradition never graduates. Our kids just play hard. And, uh, you know, we're going to rest tonight. Uh, take a break tomorrow. Coaches will work hard tomorrow. And we're going to try to be ready for Monday's practice. I, did a, I didn't do a real good job against Dover. And uh, so I told Coach Reno a few times I'd like to have that one back. I felt like I left, let uh, the players down because our players will do anything for us. I mean, whatever you tell them, they don't freelance. They do what the, we ask them to do. And, uh, but, you know, the, that game, they, you know, the players came through for, for, for me and they covered my butt that game. Great job. Things don't always go like you want it to go. The outcome came like you wanted it to come, but getting there was a little bit different than we had in mind. Okay? But every, hey, every year, every year, every team has to suck it up one time to check their character. That's the first time we had our character tested all year. First time all year. Every other game was over quickly. Okay? Congratulations, sucking up eight. We had to suck it up on O, we had to suck it up on D. We had a lot of guys make big plays, and we had a lot of guys make little plays. And about 10 little plays become a big play. All right? I mean, our front line kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing. Our secondary kept covering, kept covering, kept covering. Our linebackers kept blitzing. Our offensive line kept blocking. Our backs kept running. Our receivers caught the ball. And a, together, together, it was a hell of an outcome. 33-30, I'll take that every time. Okay, forget whatever you did wrong. Forget whatever you did wrong because you did one thing right. We said you're going to play from the stomach. You're going to play from the stomach. That's what we talked about, playing from the stomach. Not X's and O's, not the weight room, not coaching, nothing. Stomach, fellas. That's where it comes from. And I know a couple of you are ready to puke, but that's good. That's good. We've got our character check. We're here again next Saturday. That's all we know. We're here next Saturday, 7 o'clock, Aurora. Okay, they won 24-23, I think. Okay? Hey. Hell of a job. Our father. Right. Right. Thank you. 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 One. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Over 150 wins I got with the football team right now. No, but, football and basketball together. Football and basketball together. About 350 combined wins. What's your exact role? I hear a lot of rumors, but what is your exact role? Assistant equipment manager. But, I, but you're in charge, though. You know, that's, what the, that's, what, that's what they say, but I, I said my true role is this. I mean, I'm the assistant to Bob Fellows. He's our main guy. You know, me and, him, me and him make sure all the uniform stuff's ready. You know, we're a team. You know, every number of everybody. I, I, how are you so good with numbers? And I just, I just, just memorize them from the beginning of the season, and that's all. Just good memory. Who wore number twenty in the first scrimmage? Who wore number in the first scrimmage? I don't remember from the scrimmage. Oh. I never, I never. Our first goal this year, just to win this week and uh, find out as much as we can about Aurora 
and uh, you know what makes up the, an Aurora football team. Just from the film we watch, Aurora plays with a lot of heart and determination, and uh, they have a lot of experience on our team. They have a lot of three-year players. They are a bit of a uh, dragon slayer, so to speak. I believe they've knocked off Walsh and and, and now Minor Lake Catholic, and, and and those are a couple pretty story programs. Well, of the four teams left, I feel they've played the toughest teams. Uh, to get to where they're at in uh, Walsh Jesuit. I have a lot of respect for Walsh Jesuit and they beat them and I have a lot of respect for Mental Lake Catholic and they beat them. Seniors, people only dream about going through what you've been through for four years, fellas. 52 and 2. Forty-seven-seven loss in the state semifinals to Benedictine, and a twenty-two eighteen loss to Sheridan. But you know what? Those fifty-four games don't mean anything tonight. Nothing. Only counts what we do tonight. Let's get our helmets on. Let's go out. Go, fuck them up. Division three state semifinal between 13 and 0 Steubenville Big Red and 12 and 1 Aurora. Zach toss far side McGee got the block by Morkakis cuts it up inside bounces to the outside McGee 30 20 run out of bounds at the 18 yard line what a run by Tomoy McGee. There it is Tomoy McGee out of the backfield. Zach Kalars to Tomoy McGee for the touchdown for Big Red. He is now the inside slot to the bottom. He got a 49-yard touchdown pass in their win against Walsh. And check the intended receiver. And Stevie Davis says checkmate. Davis bats that thing down. Play action. Zach looking down. Phil Mo Bogards behind the secondary. Mo touchdown. Big red. 53 yards. Zach Kolaris to Mo Reese Bogart. Big Red takes the lead, 13-7. 5.30 to go here in the first half. There it is. Yeah, got a hand on it. Bronco Busick gets a hand on it. You got to be the long snapper, snap it back there, and then you got a block when Big Red's sending everybody right up the gut. There's a good look at Bronco Busick on the sideline on the punt block. Coach Piro firing up his defense. First and 10 for the red, trips topside. Davis once again down to the bottom. Zach, there's that little bubble screen. Mo Bogart, Gossett with the block. Bogo with a block, Bogart down the sideline. Touchdown, Big Red, 39 yard pass. Big Red, 21 an answer points. They lead Aurora 21-7, 355 to go in the half. Perry motion down to the bottom. Handoff fake to Young. They throw it out of the backfield and just drilled. The safety, Anthony Gossett, comes up and makes a tackle. First and goal to go. Zach fires. Gossett 
Touchdown. Touchdown, Big Red. Fourth and eight on the Big Red 43, so they're going for it. Miller, incomplete, big stick defensively. Anthony Gossett, he's having himself a night. Has a touchdown grab and a number of big sticks defensively. Fake to Tamoy. Zach down the middle. Anthony Gossett, the seam. Gossett, 25, 20. Gossett, 25, picks up the block at the 10. Touchdown, Big Red. Miller. Picked off, Stevie Davis, he's got a lot of running room in front of him. Davis, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Big Red. Zach, rolling. Let's it go, Bogard behind the secondary, Mo. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Big Red. Stupid little Big Red, headed back to the state championship game with his 48-13 win over Aurora. Like I told them after the game, all we did last night was earn a right to play next Saturday. That's, just, that's all we did. We didn't earn anything other than earn a right to play. Now we've got to prepare to play the game of our lives. And this opponent, uh, an opponent that you feel pretty highly about. I just feel that, you know, we're playing a 14, uh, you know, Kettering Alder team. They're a smash mouth football team. It's just going to be, it's going to be a very physical game. And we're going to have to be able to stop the run and just react to everything else. What's their bread and butter, I mean, formation-wise? Are they tailback based? They're, they're a wishbone team uh, with a split end. Um, they have a real, real good fullback. They have a quarterback that has some quick feet, and they have two good running backs. Uh, one does a little bit better job blocking than the other, but they have two real good running backs. Defensively, they play a 5-3, and they just they force you to throw the ball. They go being a man in their coverages. Uh, not all the time, maybe 90% of the time they're, they're man to man. Look for work. That's it. Good one, good one. Middle. Thanks, Hannah. Oh, Steelers, Steelers. Steelers, 50 80. Middle, middle. 90, Hunt, get your arm through. Green, six. Green, six, Hunt, get your arm through. Green, 80. Green, 80, Hunt, get your arm through. That's it. Hit. 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 That's it. Hit. And what are we playing? We're playing quarterback first, okay? Usually when we go Mohawks, what do we have first? Outside. This week we got quarterbacks and out. Don't just run upfield because he'll turn it up and run right up inside you. Okay, because we're thinking sneak. So you're gonna probably end up going, it's you, it's your board drill against him going down. See where we're supposed to be for this option session. Remember, don't loop outside when they're mohawking, make sure we check quarterback first. Don't loop outside too far. Alright? Here we go. D-line on three. One, two, three, D-line. Good job, Bronco. Get good there, timing, get there, get there. Good, yeah. Good timing, Bronco. Good, good, good timing. Come on, come on. Got it, got it. Come on. Good, good. That's how you do it. And we say it about you. Nobody said it the last 10 times. They're coming to here every week. That's high school football. High school football, you face a lot of different offenses. In college football, you don't see as many different offenses as you do in high school. And you have to basically have a couple different packages ready for all of them. And that's what we try to do. Play hard on the line of scrimmage within the yard and then turn and run the numbers every play. I don't care what play it is. I don't care if we stop the guy here. I want everybody else turning and running on their pursuit board. Both sides, short side, wide side, turn and run. We're not going to chase this guy if he's so fast. How are we going to chase him like this? Get that way. Hey, we got to do the little things out of it. The little things are going to win the game. The little <coughs> things are going to win the game. Come on, the little things are going to win the game. Little things like pursuit and not getting too deep are going to win the game. All right? On three, hard work. One, two, three. Hard work. Hard work. I 
Roll red roll, man. We're going to win it again. All the way. Number two, back to back. Yeah. Roll red. Go Big Red. Go Zach. I love you. You're my baby. We're doing a stumble style. We got some brats. We got some burgers going. Burnt to a crisp, but going Hope to get two state championships. We're doing a big for Stumbleville, man. Go. Let's go, be great. Be great today. Be great. Be great today, fellas. Be great. Be great. Be great today. Let's go. Be great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's be great. Let's be great. Let's go. Deliver a shot, guards, deliver a shot on kick, and whip your ass in the hole. Deliver a shot on kick and whip your ass in the hole. Down blocks, down blocks. He can't spin off if he's on the ground. He ain't spinning if he's on the ground. Attack a stive board, get your ass in the hole, and keep driving. The line. Good friend of mine. Took it personal. All week long. Pay him off. Ain't no one gonna move, Yins. You'll fight to the end. He trains you that way. Do it for him. Do it for yourselves. You've been through hell. DBs, fly around and do your thing. Do what you always do. Make it a dangerous situation for every run and pass. Do your thing. Linebackers, attack them like you ain't never attacked before. Make things happen. Bronco, eat the dive. Eat it. Make the sucker know who you are. Tamale, I've been waiting a long time, Tamale. And you know it, and you've been waiting. You know where you belong. Let's do your thing. Somebody will quit. It may not be until the last game series of this championship. But somebody will quit. And when you see one of your teammates looking like he's starting to shake up, grab him by the hand and say, let's go. I'm going to screw up. You're going to screw up. So what? Keep fighting like Big Red football does. Let's go. Let's go. Wouldn't want to go to war with anybody else but you guys. Pay the price, pay yourself. Pay the price, pay yourself. You pay the price. You pay it. Now pay yourselves off.
Get a hand. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but let us not the kingdom power over our own land. Okay, fellas, we got seven minutes. You guys come a long way, fellas. Parents do not raise their sons to be champions. Parents raise their sons to be good kids, good teenagers, good students, and hope they grow up to be successful, God-fearing adults. That's what parents do. You prepared yourself for this game today. Starting in the sixth grade with the lip club. To seven times a week with Cam. Nobody lifts seven times a week. Five times in school and twice after school. You prepared yourself for this. Those stupid sprints on the track. Two a days, camp, three a days, four a days, every day. You prepared yourself for this. Tomorrow, McGee, you gotta be on horse today. You gotta be man of war, reincarnated. You understand that? You gotta be the man today. Bo, Davis, Glasson, Danny, best four receivers we've ever had, showing the championship. Show the championship. Offensive line. You were in a question mark when the season started. You're in a question mark now. They've given up 40 yards rushing a game for 14 games. Radakovich. Fry. Juice. Campbell. Tyree. Phillip. Public. It's you against them. Owens, Tyree, Penguin, Murph, Draylon. Let's go. Get to their feet every snap. Linebackers. Your linebackers are student go bigger. Right? That means something in my heart. That means something in my heart. Get there, Bronco. Get there, Nick. Get there, Marky. Get there, McGee. D car, Jackson. You know what you gotta do, man. Davis, you know what you gotta do. Gossett, you know what you gotta do. Last Davis, you're the best two-way junior I saw in Division Three. Show it today. Show it today. Zach. Zach! You're my man! Show it today! Show it today! You're the offensive priority here in Division Three. Show it! Show them why we are the tradition! Show them why we are the pride! Show them why we are the champions! Show them why we are Big Red! We are Big Red on three! One, two, three! We are Big Red! Let's go!
Harris back to pass. He's looking downfield. He's got a man, Mo Bogard. Bogard tripped up, but he goes inside the 10 yard line. Kolaris rolling, finding Mo Bogard. Touchdown, Big Red. Alder looking to put it up. The pass is picked off. Stevie Davis on the far sideline. Davis cuts back across the field to the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Kolaris in the gun, straight drop. Anthony Gossett's open. Touchdown, Big Red. Big Red up 14-0. They're looking for more. Kolaris. In trouble, unloads it, he's got Stevie Davis. Fumble though on the play. Alder scoops it up. They're going down the sideline, deep in the Big Red territory. Touchdown, Alder. Kolaris looking to throw back to Davis. He's got him, Stevie Davis down the sideline. 20, 10, knocked out of bounds inside the five. Kolaris in the gun, he's gonna keep it. Touchdown, Big Red. Big Red up 21-7. They fake the bubble screen, looking down the field. Stevie Davis all alone. Touchdown, Big Red. 69 yards, Zach Kolaris to Stevie Davis. Handoff to Maui McGee. McGee bouncing to the outside. Kolaris keeps it down to the goal line. Zach, quick count, up and over. Did he break the touchdown, Big Red? Alder, that play is stuffed. Chad Murphy, Tamari McGee, and Bronco Music meet in the backfield. Kalar's back to pass. It's picked off. Alder with the interception. A huge return into Big Red territory. Handoff, touchdown Alder. We go into the locker room with Big Red leading 34-20 at the half. So if I'm in my stance, what am I going to do? Now I'm looking for 72, right? We're in the state championship, gentlemen. Don't have them back off. Zach struck, Zach on, I think we think twice they were trying to run an option pass where they pitched it and it was going to be like a double pass because the offensive lineman stayed right on the line of scrimmage. And you guys were quick to it. That's why they couldn't throw it. Okay. And they haven't tried none of that hitching pitch. Okay? All right, so let's stay busy with it. Let's stay very, very busy with it. We divide every play, man. Every play. That's all giving them an opportunity to play that they can possibly win. Sorry. Sorry. Okay? The guys are playing great. Keep it up. I love the way you're playing. I love the way you're playing. You're playing smart, you're playing hard, and you're playing fast. All right? They're a good team. They're a very good team. 21's dangerous, gentlemen. He's got speed. 21's dangerous. He's got speed. Right, but he's got speed and space. Okay? Everything's worked. I screwed up at the end. I should have killed the ball, and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay? Let's play defense. Let's play offense. Let's play special teams. Let's win a state championship. Okay? Hey, hey. Go ahead, Coach. Hey, defense, I just thought of something. If we start calling STEM... Wet five. Huh? The the I that'll be the the I guy who when we call stem wet you're usually in the I. If I call stem wet five, I want you in a five technique, not an I technique. So Sam linebacker, where's your alignment at now? It's not in C gap no more. It's in B gap. It's in B gap. 
If I start calling stem wet five to stop that belly to get a big, big guy, to get a big man into the five, five hole, stem wet five. Our Father. Lord have you, I'll be on thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in earth. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us. Lead us on the temptation, who is us on the kingdom power and glory forever. Amen. Big bread, one, three. One, two, three. Big bread. Let's go. Finish it. Hey, Buzzy. Let's go. We got to get up here. Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us
Yo, that is okay. Hey, you want to talk to that? Hey, you want to talk to that? Hey, you want to talk to that? coach should never say anything about my favorite player or my favorite team or my favorite this or my favorite that, but I'll never forget this team for the target they wore on their chest from last December to today, and they took all on all comers, and they did a great job. I don't think a lot of people thought that you guys were going to be back-to-back. -back. Uh, just share me your thoughts on that. Uh, I don't think a lot either. I know we did, that's for sure. That was our goal all along. Our coaches believe in us, we believe in ourselves, and that's all that matters. And Coach Sack talked about that target on the back, and there was a target on you guys all year. Yeah, there was definitely a target on us, and when we overcame all the adversity throughout the season, and we went back to back. That was our goal when we accomplished it. Better than the first one, just because it's my senior year. So, I mean, just to come out here and do it again. Now we're going after something else. I mean, hopefully, I wish next year's team good luck. It's unbelievable. It's even better than my junior year. Being a senior, it's even it's 20 times better. This year was a dream come true, man. I mean, I worked as hard as I could. I had, had two concussions this year again, but I mean, I fought back through it, and the team, every, everybody executed good, and we ended up winning it. We had a good game plan, and um, we came out, and we executed on some plays. But they played real hard and came strong in the second half and made the game close. But um, you know, it was a good game overall, and we just came out over top. 15 weeks in a row, baby. Get it on them. Get it on them. 15 weeks in a row. 15 weeks in a row. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. Thank you for all your hard work. Soup, you, Soup, you were the starter that came back from last year on the line at center. And how about this group of kids that you worked with on this line this year? They're great. I love them. I love them. You talked about this to the questions, though. I mean, that was the thing. Can Big Red's line get it done? Can the solo line get it done? The question's been answered. Don't worry about the line, we'll be fine. <laughs> Our line gave us time to throw, and we uh, knew they were going to be a man to man coverage, and we burnt their man to man coverage. Second half, we just couldn't get any out of bad field position, never seemed to get in a rhythm. When we broke them down, the couple games that they played that were close, they took over in the second half with their numbers and their field position, so we kind of knew it was coming. When the second half started, we, it, was, you know, we, it wasn't like we were shocked, you know. But our kids just kept fighting. Big red players fight. Old school. Well, when I just saw all the guys shift over to one side and there's only a center and then another guy, I knew there was a chance I could block it. We put good athletes out there and let, and, and let them go just like last year. Um, Stevie come off the edge, right edge, and uh, blocked it. Bobby calls it. And it was a great call. What uh, what made you uh, decide to go after the point in that way? Well, we have Stevie and uh, Zach. You know, one block they stayed back for the fake. Uh, so it was coming down to the wire, and we sent everybody. And that was one of our favorite blocks. They're coming off the edge. We talked about all week, emphasizing step over that leg, step over that leg. He stepped over it, and it was perfect timing. He was on a straight line, and he blocked it. It was huge. All the film we watched film during the week and uh, last weekend, and we kind of seen that when they brought number three in. He was their cornerback. He don't really play offense, but we seen when he came in the game, they ran that exact same play, the reverse pass. So we just kind of echoed it through and, you know, told all the DBs, and Draylon made a great play getting in there, kind of affecting his pass, hit him, and it kind of like sailed in the air, and then Stevie made a great play, and Zach had it covered. He had him great, uh, covered great.
I need those guys with me right now. We gotta go across the street. Bro, red. Okay. Hey. Big red on three. One, two, three. Big red. Big red. Big red. Well, what's it mean, being a player from Big Red and now a coach from Big Red? What's Big Red football mean to you? They always ask me that because I played on the first state championship team and was tailed back. Truthfully, at my point in my life now, I'm giving back. So, it, I mean, it, it, feels, it feels great to give back, you know, and working in the school system and coaching with these kids and also to help them be champions, you know. And, and one thing about life is, I mean, one thing about football, it can imitate life sometimes. You can have your ups and your downs, you know what I mean, as long as you can stick with it. It's my life's dream because my dad played for Big Red, my brother played for Big Red, I'm wearing my dad's number, so that's all that's important to me. It's a big deal. Big Red football is totally different. We trained so hard in the off season. It all paid off, and now we want it. Big meaning to play for Big Red, a lot of toughness, working in the weight room and everything like that. <laughs> working in the weight room. But like uh, the second half, everybody saying they have no two-way players. We have two-way players. Don't mean nothing. We go out like the weight room, fighting tough and winning the game. The second half. You train, you know, all year. And that's why we ran that hill behind Kroger's for, you know, five, six weeks before the season started, and it paid off. You know, the conditioning paid off at the end. And we got here by being aggressive, and we gave up the touchdown at the end of the first half. But that's our philosophy. That's what got us here. I mean, we go after things. We make things happen. You know, sometimes they don't work out your way, and our kids bounce back. And I think it was from hard work, dedication. I mean, they outwork people, and it's nice to know hard work pays off. What do you have to say about uh, being associated with Big Red? It's the greatest thing, you know, going right now, man. I mean, every, from the top down, Mr. Ronaldo down, it trickles down from him. He's our leader. It trickles down from him all the way down to the, to the middle school. That's rolling the coaches there. And, and uh, you know, what can I say? It means the world to me. I mean, my parents, my dad, my uncles, they all played here. I mean, it was an honor for me to play uh, here where my uncle, my family played. Well, like all my cousins always played, and I always looked up to them, wanted to be a big red player. And uh, it's something that... I'll never forget with everything, especially these two years, these past two years, never forget any of that. And just uh, just everything that comes along with it and the honor and respect of being a big red football player. Being a senior just makes it even worse. It's like, it's like a fever. It goes through you constantly. You just got to keep going with it. And I was proud to be here. And to be honest with you, going to college, I miss this place. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my life is to be here and gain friends and gain teammates and coaches and family. I've been wanting to play for Big Red ever since I was little, so just being around this atmosphere in this school and around all of these coaches, it's going to be hard leaving everybody, leaving my coaches and especially leaving my players that I've been with for my 07 class I've been with for six years now. And, um, you know, me and Zach, we got this thing called uh, – for uh, our 07 class, we call it uh, GOAT. We are we're called the greatest of all time because we're leaving here with two state championships. Big Red's all about tradition, so that's the first thing that comes to mind. And, you know, it was just great being a football player for four years, and I'm happy we went out the way we did. There's not a better way we could have went out. They couldn't stop us in the first half, and uh, we just put our players in an adverse uh, position. But like I told Anthony, it, it worked out perfect. I mean, our kids had to suck it up to to win the game. And we won with three, four, five, six. We won with seven first-year players on defense. Tyree, the Penguin, Owens, eight guys. All three linebackers, because Tamale wasn't in there, and Dekar. What's that, seven? Seven first-year players on defense. And we won with a first-year offensive line. I felt that we would be a, have a good football team, uh, but a lot of good football teams uh, don't re reach expectations or don't reach their uh, uh, full capability. And uh, I've been around long enough, and I've been with and I'm a coach with guys that, that that know that you don't get very many shots. And uh, we wanted to make the best of this opportunity, and we wanted our kids to just to, to reach their full potential. And uh, that was our focus all year, to reach our full potential. And we felt that to do that, we'd have to, we have to be extremely well conditioned, and we worked on that. And we had to do little things. We had to, do, we had to add something to the program that no other team did, and, and that's when I came up with the Hill. I just felt that I'd be adding something that uh, no other team did that we had to do to uh, just take our first shot. Uh, you know, I put the target on their chest the first day, 
and uh, they end up defending it for 15 weeks. Mikey Carlantonio, tight end linebacker. Maurice Bogart, wide receiver, DB, senior. Zach Flores, quarterback, defensive back, senior. Steve Davis, wide receiver, DB, junior. Anthony Gossett, tight end, strong safety, junior. Chris Rose, senior, quarterback, linebacker. Dan Vogel, wide receiver, senior. David Anderson, quarterback, defensive back, sophomore. Michael Goodwin, linebacker, tailback, sophomore. Moore McGee, running back, linebacker, senior. Jerry Banks, tight end linebacker, junior. James Montgomery, running back, defensive end, junior. Brandon Carroll, wide receiver, safety, sophomore. Bill McIntyre, running back, safety, sophomore. Zach Cowers, fullback linebacker, sophomore. Deontay Cobra, tailback, strong safety, senior. Anthony Jackson, running back, corner, junior. Patrick Gilbert, cornerback, receiver, sophomore. Joe Wu, receiver and corner, junior. Mike Ferre, tight end, linebacker, senior. Andrew Akili, receiver, safety, sophomore. Nick Rogers, tight end, linebacker, senior. Bronco Busek, fullback, linebacker, sophomore. Dan Moxley, fullback, linebacker, senior. Michael Hakes, fullback, linebacker, junior. Anthony Akini, receiver, defensive back, senior. Franklin Lewis on the third, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Tommy Ball, receiver, linebacker, junior. Devon Campbell, offensive line, Defensive line, sophomore. Sam Pavlik, guard, linebacker, senior. Roland Owens, fullback, nose guard, junior. Sean Campbell, center, senior. Phil Gilmore, tackle, defensive end, junior. Richard Dunn, defensive end, junior. Jeremiah Hunt, wide receiver, sophomore. Rick Brancasio, defensive tackle, guard, senior. Dan Clayton, center, sophomore. Gregory, defensive end, offensive guard, junior. Ryan Dugan, center, nose guard, sophomore. Pat Gary, center, defensive tackle, junior. Travis Moore, offensive and defensive line, sophomore. Brian Yance, offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. Andrew Dokovich, offensive line, junior. Shaw Murphy, offensive line, defensive line, senior. Brandon Fry, offensive and defensive line, junior. Eric Brown, defensive line, senior. William Fordham, wide receiver, linebacker, sophomore. T.J. Brown, receiver and safety, senior. Carlos Sanders, wide receiver, safety, senior. Ricky Fugate, tight end, defensive end, junior. Bill Lomfrey, linebacker, tight end, senior. Alex Morales, wide receiver, safety, junior. Vasilius Tesouris, coach Zach's assistant, senior. 